Nobody likes a sloppy drunk, but it looks like these celebs didn't get the memo. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities wasted on live TV. Yes, I'm back tonight's about... fully kickboxer right here on Spike TV. Up, he said about... uh, Dave Grohl got a little Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we are showcasing the times it was painfully obvious that a celebrity was drunk, stoned, or otherwise out of it during an interview. Huh? What'd you say? What are you going to be doing on this tour? I'm going to be doing, Papa's got a brand new bag of living in America, sex machine, get up off of that thing! I feel good! Number 10. Anna Nicole Smith You never know what you're going to see on live TV, especially when Anna Nicole Smith was involved. The former model and television personality was known for her hard partying ways. Her bizarre behavior was seen on everything from talk shows to her short-lived reality show, The Anna Nicole Show. Still, no one could have predicted her memorably hazy appearance at the 2004 American Music Awards. Though she was on stage for barely a minute, the visibly intoxicated presenter slurred her way to several infamous quotes. And if I ever record an album, I want this guy to produce my, make me beautiful duets. Her boozy performance made the rounds on the internet, and Smith later denied being drunk. But popular opinion and video suggest otherwise. Number nine. Tracy Morgan. I'll have an apple juice. Oh, we don't have apple juice, sir. Then I'll take a vodka and tonic. This funny man is known for playing a parody version of himself on 30 Rock, and he played up his partying ways for laughs both on the show and in his stand-up. But on his appearance on El Paso's KVIA morning show, Morgan was playing it for real and was clearly still recovering from a night out at the local strip club. Texas El Paso, I'm telling you, man, I went to Jaguars last night. I love oh, the ladies here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Despite the interviewer's best efforts, the interview quickly went off the rails when Morgan inevitably took his shirt off as part of, quote, a mating call. You hear that? Look at that. That's a mating call. <laughs> That's a mating call. The ludicrous segment was something even the 30 Rock writers couldn't make up. Number eight, Ben Affleck. They would like it better if you did the show top us at the station, wouldn't they? Word to the wise, tequila and talk shows don't mix. Affleck has been the star of several inebriated interviews, but nothing quite compares to his 2004 appearance on Quebecois TV. On set to promote his film Jersey Girl, the actor spent his time groping host Anne-Marie Lozick instead. Stop! What are you doing? Stop moving! The clip features an intoxicated Affleck flirting his way through the interview and making multiple references to the host's body, and somehow finding an opportunity to make fun of people with disabilities. Don't make me look like I am retarded. I look like I have cerebral palsy now. <laughs> Even including Gili, this is one of Affleck's worst performances, especially given the fact that he'd gone through a 30-day rehab program three years prior. Huh? Number seven. Courtney Love. Well, no one can say she wasn't enjoying the rock and roll lifestyle. At the 1995 MTV Video Music Awards, Kurt Loder was in the middle of interviewing Madonna when Courtney Love decided to make a cameo appearance. Much to the material girl's chagrin, Loder invited Love to join in on the interview, an invitation the whole front woman gladly accepted. Love proceeded to hijack the entire segment and discussed a range of topics, including fashion and astrophysics. I'll go somewhere and have a drink. Well, I'm going to get into astrophysicist because this rock star thing is not working out. Oh, well, I think it's doing all right. I mean, and you're, you're I'm she's definitely the serious. Internet. Eventually, Madonna decided that she'd had enough, but Courtney soldiered on, conducting most of the remainder of the interview from the floor. Number six, Paula Abdul. It was two steps forward and many steps back during this drunken interview. The 80s pop star had a 2000s revival thanks to the reality sensation American Idol. But more than a few people questioned the judge's sobriety thanks to some slurred words and flirty behavior. Did you like that, Paula? Oh. The feet smooth? Maybe when Jared does it. Oh, come on! <laughs> it all came to a head when she appeared on Seattle's Q13 Fox Morning News in early 2007. Despite the host's many attempts to keep the segment on track, the swaying singer had a series of nonsensical answers en route to internet infamy. Right yeah. off the bat, what do Idol fans have to look forward to this season, and what are you looking forward to seeing? Well, 
Is that what it is? I was wondering, what is that? Her publicist later attributed her behavior to fatigue and technical difficulties, but few seem to agree. Number five, Danny DeVito. I never felt more alive in my life. Oh, I'm sure. What do you get when you mix booze with sleep deprivation? This. For this infamous 2006 interview on The View, DeVito showed up direct from an all-night bender, drinking his patented limoncellos. <laughs> no, I knew it was the last seven lemon cellos that was gonna get me. Yes, exactly. The resulting interview played out like a real-life drunk uncle segment, right down to the political rant. I'm trying to like, you know, figure out what to do with our country and our women and men in the military. Yeah. <laughs> DeVito channeled his inner Frank Reynolds by exhibiting all sorts of cartoonish behavior and even rambled his way through the entire plot of Deck the Halls, much to the audience's chagrin. Mercifully, Rosie O'Donnell ended the segment, but not before the intoxicated actor went for a little on-air cuddling. Really, really good. good. And you loved and working with Matt. Yeah. And there's a lot of other stuff. Yeah, I know. Very Honey, funny. read that, read that right there. Number four. Mark Wahlberg. I don't drink. No, it's a recipe for no. disaster. No. But I, I said, did take Please, acid about let me 40 minutes ago. <laughs> no one likes drunken rambling, but that's what the audience got when this actor made an appearance on The Graham Norton Show in 2013. The Irish host is known for feeding celebrities alcohol, but it's clear that Marky Mark had one too many shots of something before going on camera. But many people have been wrongfully convicted, and yeah. the system is flawed. So we need to figure that out. And, and our elected officials, more than not, are corrupted by power and enticed by money. And that's, that's a problem. That's a situation that we need to deal with. The 15-minute interview felt like it lasted an eternity, especially after Wahlberg interrupted guests and cozied up to both the host and Sarah Silverman. Retail store, discount women's clothing store called Crazy Sophie's Factory Outlet. It smells <laughs> so good. <laughs> The inevitable hangover must have made his flight back across the pond as uncomfortable as this interview. Number three, Bill Murray. Normally, Bill Murray can do no wrong. The illustrious comedy career, the hilarious talk show appearances, the effortless swagger. But the bigger they are, the harder they fall. The comedian learned that the hard way during a boozy appearance on The Last Word with Lawrence O'Donnell in 2015. Fresh off a vodka-fueled appearance on Late Show with David Letterman, Murray wandered onto the set and disrupted the serious news program with some major slurring. You, so, you, you, I, I think you're doing great. Do you remember? You're doing great, and when he said, would you come, it, was a, it wasn't a question. Rather than laughs, the appearance earned Murray nothing but scorn from O'Donnell, especially after he crashed off his stool. Number two, James Brown. We've all had our fair share of drunk karaoke, but James Brown took it to another level in a raucous 1988 interview on CNN's Sonya Live. The Godfather of Soul started off the interview singing a drunken version of Living in America. How did all of this trouble begin? Living in America. And kept returning to it. Despite his joyful mood, the funk legend was actually on air to discuss allegations of shooting at his wife. Now, James, this isn't the first time you and your wife have had a problem. Are the two of you going to be able to work this out? Let's talk about some music. The whole interview was a bit of a debacle, as Brown redirected the host's questions with a series of memorable sound bites. And what are you going to say to your fans when they ask you some questions about it? I'm going to say I feel good! The legendary clip lives in infamy, and even resurfaced after Jordan Peele released a parody version in 2015. Because I look good! I smell good! I feel good! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I think it was confidential in the Daily Telegraph this morning. I, I did. Yeah, whatever, that. whatever it was. But, but you, uh, you know, there's a lot of Greeks here in in, in uh, uh, Australia. Yeah. Greeks, I'm asking you, don't buy this paper. <laughs> no drink. He must no. be. Uh, we, no. I'm not drunk no, today. No, it's normal. You imagine when he's sober. No, no. You're not Whitney. Are you sure you're not drunk? No, no. He's not. 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 If I did not love Adam Carolla, mm -hmm. then I would not love my, my business being here. Right. There was a time when Steve-O was known as much for his hard partying ways as he was for his dramatic stunts. His self-destructive behavior was on full display in a 2005 appearance on Too Late with Adam Carolla. 
The stuntman spent this interview breaking the set, tackling the host, and barely keeping his pants on. It's no surprise that his demons eventually caught up to him. He entered psychiatric treatment in 2008 thanks to severe addictions to cocaine, PCP, and nitrous oxide. Thankfully for Adam Carolla and his set, Steve-O remains, reportedly at least, clean and sober to this day. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.